Hi guys, I thought I'd show you how to make a faux regalite, which is basically a, a jasper that has been highly dyed with bright colours. So um, I've got a mix of clay, uh, mica powders, um, got some Primo translucent. I am using Cernit for the colours, well some of it's Cernit, some of it's Primo, so it's like a mix, but this is the um, Cernit translucent amber. Metallic Cernit Red. You don't have to use these colours. You don't have to use this clay brand. Um, but whatever you've got really. But these are the colours I'm using. And then I've also got a Translucent Emerald by Cernit. Cernit Metallic Turquoise. Uh, I've got some Primo Burnt Orange. Some Primo Purple and some Primo, whatever green this is. I think it's the sage green. But whatever you've got, you know, red, blue, turquoise, um, metallics would work better. Having said that, I have done this technique using alcohol ink instead of clay and it works just as well. So if you wanted to use alcohol inks instead, you'll just do the exact same steps I'm gonna show you. But instead of using the colored clay, you would use alcohol inks. Now for each coloured clay I've got a corresponding colour um, in mica powder so red goes with red, I've got a green to go with the emerald, the amber I'm keeping by itself and then I've also got um, a blue to go with the turquoise, an orange to go with the orange, the purple to go with the purple and a green to go with the green. Okay, you'll also need some uh, liquid translucent Sculpey and good old metal leaf gold flakes. So I'm just going to put all those to one side for a second. And I'm just going to take my translucent clay. I don't know, we'll just take the whole wrapper off, it's just easier. So for each colour that I'm using, I'm going to just cut a slice about yay big, but I'm going to cut it in half because I don't want to make too much. So uh, half of that for each colour. Take another slice, cut it in half. So that's some more colours. And then another slice, cut it in half, so that's for that colour, and then another slice, Oop. turn the blade the right way around, and just half of that for the last colour, and then we've got a little bit of trans left, but I want a little bit of trans, so I'm actually going to just cut another slice just for it to be by itself. So we've got a little bit of trans for each colour, like so. What am I doing? What am I doing? So green, green, orange, purple, blue, red. Oh, I've got an extra piece there. All right, so I'm just going to take, um, let me think about this. Now this is going to be a kind of chip chop style, chippy choppy as I call it, um, but it's also going to be chippy choppy on steroids. If you've seen my, one of my other videos, you'll know what I mean by that. My faux Cheryl White one where I do the chippy choppy on steroids. This is going to be a mixture of chippy choppy and chippy choppy on steroids, <laughs> uh, for want of a better word. Okay, so I'm going to take my first little piece of trans and I'm just going to take each colour for each piece of trans and I'm just adding let me think a large P for each piece so then the red actually I'm going to put a little bit more red in because I really want that red to stand out so 
double that amount, so two piece sizes. And then the next colour, again a large piece size. I'm not being precise, it's again just a rough guide and I wish I'd done the red last because now I've got red fingers. The red is always so pigmented with um, the clays, isn't it? Just give my hands a quick wipe. Now the purple. Just a decent sized ball. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this whoops, metallic turquoise on here. The colours are pretty vibrant in this, so... Might as well get a decent amount of colour going. This is the burnt orange. Like that. And then this green. I'm just not going to add as much green. Just a hint of green. But it's all on you, really, how much colour you want to add. Alright, so we've got those ready to go. Um, I've got some translucent just kept to one side for separate and I'm going to keep the amber translucent separate. I'm not adding anything to that at this point. So what I want to do, and I'm going to go off camera to do this, is mix each of these colours into the translucent but I'm not going to completely mix. Um, you don't want a complete blended colour. Alright, so I'm going to go and mix each of these and I'll be back. Okay, so I've um, mixed the colours into the trans, but as you can see I haven't completely mixed the colours through. Alright, so you've got some of that translucent still showing. And now it's just a case of taking each colour. I'm going to vary the way I do each piece, well not each, some of them are going to be choppy, some of them are going to be extra choppy and some of them I'm not going to chop at all but you'll see. So I'm just going to take my purple and just roll it into a rough sausage and chop. Okay, so that's the first colour and I'm just going to do the, all the chopping first and before I move on to the next step. Same with the red. Rough sausage. And chop. Just very roughly chopped at this point. Um, the same with the blue. Oops. Just roll into a rough sausage again. And roughly chop. This one I'm not going to chop, I'm just going to fold. I'm just going to fold it over. Just a couple of times like that. And that's really all there is to it for this bit. Just making a little block because all of these are going to be made into little blocks like this. So that's actually a block ready to go. So you can decide which colours you want to chop, which colours you want to fold. It's just varying it a little bit to give it a little bit of a different look once we slice into it. So that one's done and I'm going to do the same with, no I'm not going to do the same with the green, I'm going to chop the green as well. Um, 
you can decide which ones you want, which ones you want to chop, which ones you want to fold. So that's another chopped colour. Do, 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 do. And then same with this one. Just a rough chop. And then um, I've got this amber as well, this translucent amber, which I'm just going to chop up in much the same way. All right, so that's all the chopping for now. But now we need to take each colour. Remember, this one's already finished, so to speak. It's just been folded up into a little block. So let's start with the purple. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing on camera. We'll see as we go along what I need to show you because it kind of gets a little confusing. All right, so I've got the purple. So I'm going to take my purple mica powder and my little scoop wherever that may be because I have a tendency to pour too much mica powder out I'm just cleaning it off because there was like mica powder on it but I've got this little scoopy thing so I'm just going to get a scoop of mica powder in there I think that should be enough so the purple goes in the purple give it a tumble And a chop, another chop. Alright, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with all the other colours. Just put a little scoop of mica powder in each one and chop them the same as I just did. And once I've done that, I'll be back. All of my um, different colours have been chopped with the corresponding um, colour of mica powder thrown into each pile. So there's the red, the green, the amber, the orange, the blue and there's the purple. Alright, now I don't want to necessarily keep all the colours completely separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take half of the red and put it to one side for now and I'm going to take this little pile here and I'm just going to throw in a little bit of that um, orange. Alright, let me think, and just a little bit more of that I think. And I'm going to give that another chop. And it's okay to have some bigger chunks in there don't have to cut them all really small. So I've mixed that. I'm keeping this separate. So I've got a pile of red. I hope this is making sense. It's really just a mishmash of colours. So there's that. So red on its own, red mixed with a bit of orange. And I'm going to take the blue and keep one little pile separate and Add a little bit of green into this one and give that a chop. So that's that little pile. I'm going to keep this green on its own and I think I'm keeping the purple by itself and then we've still got these little piles of orange. So I've just mixed a few of the colours. Now comes the messy bit guys, as usual. I want to put a little bit of um, liquid Sculpey in each of these piles. I can get it to work. So I'm just going to squirt some on each pile. I 
like so. And then what, what we're going to do is take each of these piles and turn them into blocks. So I'll do one on camera so you know what I mean. And then I'll go off camera to do the rest. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight little blocks to make. And you don't need to see me do all of them. So let me just take the purple. And um, I'm just mixing that um, liquid Sculpey. The typical chippy choppy style. And that just helps. When you put mica powder on clay, um, it stops the clay from sticking to itself. So then that's why I add the liquid school pea. So it's got something to stick to. So you can form it into a block. So I'm just going to form this into a little block. like this and it is messy alright so I've just got myself a li tiny little block not very much at all and that's what I'm going to do with all of the other colours okay so I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of them and I'll be back. So, so far we've got two little blocks. We've got the one that we already did at the beginning and now this purple. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and do the rest and I will be back. Alright, I've got all my colours mixed. I'm just going to lower you guys down a little bit and adjust. So I've got all my colours um, mixed and turned into little blocks. Now, I'm going to start with the purple. Now this is where I want to change things up a little bit. Some of them are going to stay like this, but others I'm going to do um, extra chopping. Like I showed you on my faux shara white. So I'm just going to take this and do what I did in that tutorial. Same thing, just cutting it into little thin slithers like this. It's just to give it a more fractured look and just put them up to uh, against each other like this and just keep chopping through and stacking on top of each other as well got a little bit of blue in there but that's okay and I'm also going to I've got my little piece of translucent. I'm also going to add little tiny pieces of trans in there as well. Just for a little extra something. So this is what I call my chippy choppy on steroids because you've already chopped now you're re-chopping to get a little bit of a different look. Form it into a block. Got a little bit left. I'll see, I might incorporate that, but this is all I'm going to do for the purple at the moment. So we just want to get this into a. I tried to clean my fingers, but um, they're still a little grubby from all that mica powder. 
So I just want to form this into a very small block. Because we're going to be stacking these now. Um, but I don't want them to be very big blocks. Well, they're not going to be very big blocks because it's only a small amount of clay. But I want it kind of squarish. Like so. Right. Um, so that's that piece. And I want to do the same thing with the red. So I'm just taking the red. And I'm doing the exact same thing. And it's very sticky. So again, it's all on you guys, which colours you want to do what with. Um, but um, looking at pictures of this regalite, some of them have got the more choppy looking, some of them are more just the chippy choppy style, all in different colours, but then some are more like this with more fractured look. So I'm kind of doing a bit of both. Um, I think it's a relatively new thing is what I read. It's a new stone on the market. Like I say, it's basically a jasper that's been dyed with bright colours. So, let's add a little bit of trans into this as well. Just a little bit. Oops. Last little piece. And turn it into a little square. Lexi's down here, my dog. She's on the sofa snoring. Alright, so that's another little block. Now, it's going to be stacked this way because you want to be cutting down that way. Let me try and explain this. If you were to stack it this way, and then cut down, you're not going to get the look you want. So you cut in the other way. <laughs> it's quite it's difficult to explain. You're stacking them this way. And um, I am just going to randomly push them together and kind of make little divots here and there. But you're cutting this way down. So now I'm taking my little piece of blue and I'm just going to add that into there and I'm going to fold that down. I don't want completely straight lines. So I'm just kind of piecing it all together like this. And I'm going to take my green that I did and I'm just going to add that to there. I'm just thinking guys because uh, this does baffle me a little bit. I have to sit and, no that's not right. I need to sit and think about it. I'm just going to add that there. I've got this little bit of purple left so I might as well add that into there. Like that. It's kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle. You just put in all the pieces together. I'm actually going to remove some of this and add some of this orange. Oh, by the way, the two orange colours that I had, the amber and the burnt orange, I've, I just clumped together. So you're just kind of piecing all this together in a random fashion because the colours all kind of mixed together um, in the stones that I saw. 
So, really hoping this is going to turn out right, guys, because I'm getting a little confused here. <laughs> it's very random, very mixed. And I'm just squashing it all together. So we get a nice mix of those colours running through and they're not all in one one place, although obviously the purple and the red are. Okay, and then just a little bit of the blue. Um, I'm just going to piece this together somehow. that orange and I think that'll do that's a funny looking stack but now just want to form it into a block and remember you're cutting this way down so this is the top of the stack this is the bottom and you're cutting down that way So I'm just forming this into a nice block. Just get all this out of the way. And then the next thing I want to do, we're going to need some liquid Sculpey again and, and um, some gold leaf. And I'm going to insert the gold leaf into the stack by just literally cutting through in a random place and add in some liquid school paper because it just helps to stick it back together again a little easier so just a little bit on either side of the cut just to help things stick back I think I'm running low on this Alright, so make sure my hands aren't too sticky while I put this on. So I'm just literally going to cram it in there. I want quite a thick layer of this. Alright, and then when you've done that, put your piece back together the right way and try and get it to stick as best as you can at this point. And it might take a little bit of working with the clay to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to just go in another random place. And already you can see those little lines of gold coming through. Get some more Sculpey liquid clay and just put some on either side of the cut again. Like so. And then just slap it on there like this. Oop. Oh dear. Sticky mess. Oh dear. Sometimes I hate working with this stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Let me just clean my hands off a bit. Okay. So once again, just slapping some of that gold stuff in there and then putting your piece back together the right way and again just making sure it's going to stick back together okay
and I think I'm going to put some more in so you're just making random cuts and you can put as much of this on as you want to you could just have a few little lines running through or you could have a lot more running through sure I clean my hands off this time so it doesn't stick to me. A little bit more of this gold stuff. And a little bit on this side. I really hope all this made sense to you guys, but because um, I guess it is a little complicated, but just think of it as in simple terms it's chopping on some pieces, not so much chopping on other pieces, um, and then just assembling it in a random fashion. I mean, that's as easiest, the easiest way I can explain it. Um, I guess there is a lot of faffing with it because you're mixing colours and chopping some, not chopping some, and chopping some more than others. But um, I just hope I've made sense to you guys. Alright, let me think. Do I want any more of that gold in there? I think I'm going to do one more cut. Yeah, why not? One more cut. And then we shall do the reveal. I'm hoping it's going to look good. And yeah, and just a reminder, like I say, um, you don't have to use coloured clay for this like I said at the beginning um, the last batch that I did of this my practice run so to speak um, I didn't use clay I used alcohol inks and it works just as well so don't feel that you're um, committed to using coloured clay especially I know there's a shortage of it at the moment um, but if you've got alcohol inks, you just do it in exactly the same way. Instead of adding that pinch of um, coloured clay into the translucent, you're just going to add one or two drops of alcohol ink. And again, not thoroughly mixing. Mixing it, but not thoroughly mixing it. So it's exactly the same thing. It's just alcohol ink instead of coloured clay. Alright, so I'm going to get this nicely stuck together now. And I've just been very conscious that I've not been speaking very loudly. So I hope the volume's going to be okay on this. And sometimes I get so into what I'm doing, um, I tend to mumble. I, I have noticed that, so fingers crossed you'll be able to hear me. Alright, so... I've got my little block and I'm a bit nervous as usual because I really hope it's worked. Okay, so I'm going to take my first cut. Dun, 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 dun. Which way do I want to cut? Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. I'm going to take my first cut, guys. Fairly thick piece. There's that piece. Let's cut another one just to see. 
So can you see what I mean? Some of the colours are just um, uh, some of, some of them are chippy choppy. Some of them are chippy choppy on steroids, and other pieces are just straight through colour, like this stripy bit here. So it's just a case of messing around with it and uh, seeing what you like. So let's go with the first cut then, and I've got to find my roller, and I'm just going to give it a quick roll. And as you roll, that gold that you put in there is going to ooze out because of that liquid clay that you put there with it. It's going to cause it to ooze out, which is what you want. Because I noticed that for Regalite, well, Regalite has got this nice gold veining on it. Alright, so I'm just rolling this out a little bit. Let's make a pair of earrings. So I'm just going to grab my two cutters. Get this other piece and roll this out. Make sure it's big enough to fit my cutter and it isn't. So I'm just going to roll it a little more. Card. and give it a burnish Alright, so just place your piece, your cutter on your piece and cut through. Oh, sorry guys, hang on a sec. My camera's about to fall off. I'll be back. Sorry about that guys, my, uh, my camera nearly fell down and it's doing it again. Alright. So that's the first earring cut out. Let's do the second one. All right. So I'm just going to make these earrings on camera. I will make some other th other things off camera. And. Um, I didn't cut that very well, did I? Okay, that's better. Alright, so they're the earrings. I'm just going to give them a nice burnish. And I'm going to go and bake them. Sand any rough bits like I usually do. and um, resin them. Now I'm not going to resin them on camera but I do have another tutorial where I show you how I finish my pieces so I will leave a link to that if you so wish to watch it. Alright guys so I'm going to go and put these in the oven and I'm going to sand them, I'm going to resin them and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and um, these are the earrings that I made on camera and I've resined them and I've added some hoop earrings and a little charm and a little turquoise bead and I've just resined and glittered on the back. So they're the earrings. Um, I also did this pendant. 
same thing, resin and glittered on the back, pinch bale. So that's that. And then just a couple more little pendants that I made. There's this one. I think this one's my favourite actually, it's got more of the purple in it. And then just another pendant, same shape. So there are all the pieces. So thank you for watching guys and I will catch you later. Bye.